start the tough stories. Iran slams the U.S. claim of nuclear disarmament as a lie, saying it wants a global body to oversee the issue. Lebanon warns Israel against any invasion of its territory. And volcanic ash could disrupt air travel in Europe for several more days. Hello, everybody. Those were the headlines of 700 Hours GMT. It's 11.30 a.m. where I am in Tehran. You are with Press TV. Leader of Iran's Islamic Revolution, Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei, says using or even threatening to use nuclear weapons is a violation of basic human rights. Ayatollah Khamenei called atomic arms a threat to global peace and slammed some countries' refusal to destroy their nuclear arsenals. His remarks were read up at the opening of the first international conference on nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation in Tehran. Ayatollah Khamenei also denounced what he called U.S. hypocrisy regarding nuclear disarmament. He described Washington as the world's only nuclear criminal. Ayatollah Khamenei also blasted Israel's refusal to join uh, the nuclear non-proliferation treaty. He said Tel Aviv has turned occupied Palestine into an atomic armory. He also described nuclear proliferation as a threat to global peace and called for protecting mankind against atomic arms. From the venue of that conference, I'm joined by our own man in Tehran, Amir Mehdi Kazemi, to tell us a little bit more about the message of Iran's leader Ayatollah Khamenei and of course the speech made by the president. Well, yes, Arash, uh, the conference uh, was uh, finally inaugurated. It started with a speech delivered by Dr. Ali Akbar Velayati, the representative, and also the advisor of uh, the leader of the Islamic Revolution on international affairs, in which Dr. Velayati uh, read the message uh, sent by the uh, uh, leader of the Islamic Revolution, Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei, to the delegates of this conference in which he had pointed out to the ethical point of view of Iran and Islam over the issue of uh, nuclear weapons and he uh, reiterated that Iran and Islam are both against the deployment of nuclear weapons and also weapons of mass destruction against uh, humans in the world and also the Iranian president uh, took this opportunity he, he delivered a speech in which he uh, took the opportunity to criticize the international community and also the UN Security Council the United Nations for not doing enough in order to take a more serious steps uh, on a nuclear proliferation. What he reiterated was that uh, the United Nations uh, Security Council has to adopt more serious measures and has to restructure itself, uh, pointing to the United States as a, a nuclear state, a, 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 a country which possesses nuclear weapons and at the same time opposes other countries from benefiting from peaceful nuclear energy. President Ahmadinejad also uh, gave, uh, also uh, had, had this idea. He proposed the formation of an independent international group for non-proliferation under the supervision of the United Nations. And he also criticized the double standards uh, uh, pointing to Israel that has uh, more than 200 uh, nuclear warheads and at the same time constantly threatening its neighbors and at the same time is supported by the United States. President Ahmadinejad also went on to say that Iran and all the countries taking part in this conference have gathered here to grab the attention of the international community in order to in order okay. to do more. Amir Mehdi, I'm sorry to, I'm, to Amir Mehdi, if you hear me, Amir Mehdi, if you hear me, I'm going to have to cut you short because uh, Saeed Jalili has started his speech. I'm going to talk to you later. Let's uh, turn over live.